Hello second grade. Today we're going to talk about the swan and I have to tell you it is one of my favorite animals out of all of the carnival of the animals to listen to. It's a very peaceful sounding song. Um, almost kind of makes you feel like you're going to fall asleep. So before we listen to this the first time I want you to think about these questions on the board. What do you think the swan is doing or thinking and what instrument plays the swan's music? So think about those questions while we watch the video. This first video that we're going to watch, this is by a guy named Yo-Yo Ma. And if you've ever heard that name, um, it's probably because he is one of the most famous cello players in the whole world. And I just gave you the answer to what instrument you're listening for. Um, so he is the most famous, one of the most famous cello players in the whole world, and he is going to play the swan for us. So please make sure your listening ears are on, your voices are off. If you want to close your eyes and listen, you can, or watch quietly. This is the swan music. And that was the swan music. So like I said, very peaceful, calm kind of sounding. Um, and that was the cello. 
Um, some people say it looks like maybe he was crying on his face or he was sweaty. So when people are sitting on the stage like that, there's lots of lights on them. And a lot of times the lights are really hot. So he could just be sweating from all the lights that are um, shining on him. I also want you to think, did you notice that he did not have any music or anything in front of him? He had that whole song memorized, and it was a pretty long song. He had it all memorized, all in his head, while he was playing that song. So pretty cool there. All right, so what do you think the swan was doing or thinking during that music? Take a few seconds, talk with your neighbor. What was the swan doing? Talk with your neighbor now. All right, back up at the screen in three, two, one, and our voices are off. Thank you. We already answered what instrument it plays. It was the cello because you saw Yo-Yo Ma playing the cello. Now, this next video that we're going to watch, this is this, this guy, Nathan Chan, and he's going to play the cello, and he kind of talks about what he thinks about the music. So while you're watching, I want you to listen to what he has to say. Think about what you notice about the music and how it makes you feel. And he's going to give you some of his answers. So let's watch him play the swan music. <laughs> I think a good cellist has to feel the music and feel like the true meaning. Oh, here's the swan, something's happening. It's about a swan traveling through the water. It's really graceful. closely. Oh no, I think something's really happening now. Oh no, it's okay. I think Saint-Saëns was trying to put a whole bunch of feelings together, sad and happy at the same time. In some parts, the swan is doing something not so sad, like gliding through the water. And then all of a sudden, it's starting to cry. struggles to get on the shore. Oh no, he's starting to really die now. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those false alarms and then it starts to hit you. Lots of people say that I express the music really well, and everybody thinks that's the best part of me. So he is probably close to your age and was able to play that song all by himself, which means he had to practice a lot. Um, so he kind of said what he thinks about the music. He said Camille saint Sion he thought, was combining happy and sad at the same time. So now we're going to take a few minutes and talk about what you 
noticed about the music, maybe if you thought it was fast or slow, um, anything like that, and how the music made you feel. So Nathan just gave you a few examples of what he thought, so now we want to talk about what you noticed about the music, then we'll get your books out and color and write your words in there. So think about what you noticed about the music and how it made you feel, and we'll talk about that now.